Hello my friends, it's Gabriel with The Last Huntsman Outdoors. Out here with another really awesome knife review here. The knife I have is the Work Cuff Gear. Puzon Wilderness Bowie 7 without a choil, which I think is a really nice um, twist there. I am, I'm actually glad I got the choilless version, but let's test this knife out here in the woods. All right, here we have the Work Tough Gear Puzon Wilderness Bowie. This is the seven inch without the choil. Look at that blade, just an awesome looking blade. I like just the overall profile of it. It's a um, obviously that good old classic Bowie knife, but it also kind of has that, I think they call that like more of like a Filipino type of grip on there. So it's kind of a, clash of western and eastern styles um it comes with a really nice kydex sheath um a lot of the worked up gears are a uh, pancake type of sheath and uh, keeping it 100 percent honest and real with you guys sometimes i think they're just a little bulky but this one being that taco type of sheath it's just really awesome uh, locks in really good and of course I've did my own little last huntsman outdoors redneck engineering a uh, little trick on it where I just used kind of a leather backer and put a tech lock on there I think that's actually the tech lock it came with and then I just wrap it all up in 550 cord so it kind of has that cool 550 cord look to it but also it gives it a little bit of drop on your belt and you can put it on your belt without taking your belt off, which is always a plus for me. And do some more batoning with the uh, Puzon Wilderness Bowie 7 here. 3 sixteenths SK85. Kind of has a mid saber grind, which I've always found that saber grinds usually does a pretty good job at batoning right through that knot and just exploded it as you can see Do one more here. with it and do just some chopping with it now obviously it's not going to be a huge chopper but we'll see what it can do so way that grip is you really can get, hit back choke back on it blade just has a lot of forward momentum but it does bite in really deep when I do connect well with it and do a little bit of delimbing with the work tough gear Who's on? Wilderness Bowie 7. Even though this is a 7 inch blade, it actually does a pretty good job. Especially the way that grip is. It really kind of locks your hand on there. I will say with this being a seven inch blade, it does 
feel like it has a lot more power than most other seven inch blades. I feel like this can actually be on par with some larger knives, like maybe even close to what the BK9 can do. I'm just gonna do some slicing with the uh, Puzon 7 here. Kind of get a feel for it. Oh, that little wood shaving on the camera there. And I'm gonna kind of discuss the ergonomics while I'm kind of doing that ninja death grip. So it's very slicey. I like the feel on it. As far as the blade, the handle. Now I'm gonna discuss something here. Handles are going to, you could take the same knife, same handle and give it to five different guys. And they're all going to have a different opinion on the handles and just because everybody's hands are different and what works great for some guys don't will say for my hands and, and this is just me personally i have medium-sized hands they do feel a little on the big side trying to grab onto uh and i will also say that that abrupt hump right there at least for my hands, feels a little awkward. I will say if you have larger hands, which most guys actually do, I'm kind of the odd one with the medium sized hands instead of large, but if you have large hands, this knife's gonna work great for you. But uh, for my medium sized hands, it just feels a little on the large side. However, it is an amazing slicing knife. So another thing to consider with the uh, Work Tough Gear Puzon Wilderness Bowie is would this make a great combat knife if you wanted something for like your um, gear system or you're a soldier or something like that? Would this make a great combat knife? Well, let's test it out. So it stabs really great. Um, with that handle being as thick and round as it is, I thought it wouldn't index very good, but it actually does surprisingly well. And with that big flare on there, you could even just kind of do like a handshake grip and it actually is still very controllable. So, yeah, I would actually say this would make a great combat knife if that's what you're looking for. It is kind of on the larger side, but I don't mind carrying a large knife on me, really, honestly. I know when I was in the uh, Marines, I uh, carried a Becker BK-7, and it didn't really bother me at all. So this would be a great combat knife. So something else to discuss with the uh, Puzon Bowie here is that... It does, right here at the base, have just kind of a little bit of rounding on the spine. I guess that's for your thumb. But it does also have a very sharp 90 degree spine. It strikes a ferro rod amazingly well. Um, Work Tough Gear, I think, does some of the best 90 degree spines. Like, they're, they're, sh they're sharp for sure. And I... I really appreciate that. It's I'm gonna do some feather sticks here with the Puzon Wilderness Bowie 7. This thing is actually doing really good right off the bat. And something else to take note on here too. This is the edge right out of the box. I I've always been very impressed with the edges that comes with Work Tough Gear. I've had some knives that are even more expensive than Work Tough Gears and quite frankly ha have been the most impressed with some of the edge or even edge geometries. <laughs> Winkler. Sorry. Um, anyways, yeah, this knife does amazing work with feathers. Another test I'm going to do, I'm just 
Got some rope here, and I see what it can do here. Just glides right through it like it's nothing. Oh yeah. And I do like that this one doesn't have the choil. While on the big one, I have the nine inch it as well. I do got the choil. And while I think it works good for that one, I don't know if I'd like it if it was on a seven inch. I think the seven inch is actually pretty nice with just not having the choil on there. And I've always been kind of hit and miss on choils too. Choils, I think it works great on some knives. Other knives, it doesn't. I'm glad this one doesn't. But it does cut rope really well. Another test I'm going to do, good old notch making. And I'm just going to do some cross grain batoning here. Start off with a little square notch. that out pretty good do a little tent stake notch good there let's cross grain baton in here we're gonna go all the way through like nothing well, my friends, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the review of the Work Tough Gear Puzon Wilderness Bowie 7. Get my overall thoughts and impressions on it. First of all, I always like a bit like a good sized Bowie knife. Um, my first Bowie knife love was the uh, Becker BK7, and it was one I carried in the Marines, but I would have gladly have carried this one too. This is a nice knife. I really like the stuff coming out of Work Tough Gear. Uh, been very impressed. Their fit and finish and quality is just amazing. And that's no different with this knife. The sheath, I really like the sheath setup. Now, granted, I set this up a little differently. I put that leather backer on there and the tech lock and all that stuff. But just the initial right out of the box sheath with the taco um, design on there, I really like it. Locks in really good course that's just the leather backer absolutely no rattle and not coming out of there it's a very good lockup that i will say work tough gear does great work with their um kydex um as for a knife itself i really like the size of this knife it's uh, a seven inch a good seven inch blade is probably one of my like favorite sizes like i guess um the good like three and a half to four inch blade size and the you know, like six seven inch blade size are kind of my two favorite sizes just it's the sizes that works best for me for what i do out here but i'm really impressed with this knife um steel holds up and i was actually really impressed with the uh right out of the box edge i didn't i never even touched up the edge out of the box it it just was really sharp right off the bat so that's always that's always a good first impression for sure um one little thing that i would maybe change with it if it was like my own design and granted what works you know for one guy might not work for me and blah 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 especially with ergonomics ergonomics is a very personal preference type of thing but um it is just a little on the like thick side going this way and i'm not entirely enthused by that abrupt hump right there i feel like if that was just a little bit more gradual there and if this was just slimmed down just a little bit it would fit my medium sized hands well or a little better but i will say if you have like larger ogre size hands this would probably be just perfect for you so that's just kind of a data point right there is is if you have like real small hands or something you might be sanding this down some but um all that being said though i still would highly suggest this knife i like it a lot and um yeah definitely 
check out work tough gear uh, i know work tough gears can kind of be hard to get sometimes they sell out quick and there's a reason for that they they're amazing knives they uh, you know you're getting a lot of bang for your buck for with a work tough gear that's for sure so um I, my suggestion is just get on the Facebook fan group, keep up with their website on a regular basis, and just check with them. And, you know, I think they even got an email list or something. And just kind of have some cash stacked aside and be ready to buy one if you want one. And if you see one and you want it, grab it because it's not going to be there the next day for sure. But uh, with all that being said, get out there, folks. Be prepared both physically and spiritually. God bless carry on.